Doobie doop doop doobie doo. If you're wondering why I'm making this noise, it's because I keep getting told off by YouTube for like having a radio on in the background or something, so I'm gonna sing for you instead. Hakuna Matana. We go in there. You go in there, file explorer. And then you carry on like this. Right. Finding files you've saved, say you've been in your programmer, uh, on your doesn't matter what you're in, programmer, maybe you're reading diagnostically, whatever. Uh, on your IM, or your Autel IM, whether it be 508 or 608 or an Auro or whatever. It can sometimes be a bit confusing, but it's pretty easy once you've got the hang of it. So, say you're at your main um, file locations, so you need to go in to, I'm trying to do this with through the phone screen, SD card, you then go into scan, and then, do 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 do, where are we, user data? User data. If I knew how the alphabet works, I'd have found that a lot quicker. There we go, user data. And for example, these are, you know, when it, when, it, when it reads, it tells you where it's put it, but it's not always easy to find. So I'm looking for something from reprogrammer, which is there. Easy as that. Uh, and then I've got all the files that I want to use. Job done, and you clear them out regularly after you're sure the vehicle is safe and gone, or store them as backups for future vehicles and understanding how um, um, file structures work for different sorts of um, chipsets um, and could get you out of trouble one day. Well, I thought I'd add this bit, so I wanted to take a file from here and put it on USB so I can move over to the laptop. Um, but some people don't know where the back is because there's no back arrow. You just click the title of the page you're in basically to go back and that's it. So I want to go right back and then go to USB and then paste my copied file into there. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, there's no back arrow, which is it's what it is. It's a bit annoying. Uh, and also, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, you can get rid of your drop-down tabs by pressing that, and it just makes that full screen. <laughs> makes no real difference there. Um, hopefully, somebody finds that helpful. Maybe not. If you already know it, then you'll be like, "Why are you telling us this?" Because it is quite obvious. Um, but if you're new to the tool or don't do much of that type of work and come across it now and then, you might forget.